Welcome to the second week of our Design Thinking MOOC. In the beginning of this week, Astrid Tomasa gets hands-on with a human-centered design process, which provides the necessary deep understanding of the needs and hopes and aspirations of potential customers and the lives they live. This is important in order to be able to create new, meaningful solutions. The human-centered design research methods are one of the key aspects of design thinking. How the human-centered research approach fits into the design thinking methodology and what other crucial ingredients are needed for design thinking is explained in depth by Thomas Stegmann in the following lecture. In the third lecture of this week, I personally look into the notion of experience design. Meaningful customer experiences are a crucial part of successful human-centered innovation processes, hence design thinking. Experience design has emerged as a new design discipline to provide for a new type of economy, the experience economy, where experiences have become a significant economic differentiator. In the last lecture of this week, Professor Hellriegel highlights another important aspect in the context of design thinking. He investigates thoroughly the definitions of problems and what happens when we encounter problems which are difficult to define and to solve because the requirements keep changing or complex interdependencies are involved. So I would say let's get started with week two.